questions for either one of you. Um, one of the most heartfelt concerns that I've, I've heard uh, about uh, legalization is uh, the concern about uh, secondhand smoke and the infamous contact high. And uh, although I might find the answer to that concern a little obvious, I kind of get word that I'd uh, seek your maybe more credible answer to a larger audience than what I can give. Paul's probably got it down, but uh, it's my understanding the government uh, conducted some really significant study in this area, literally by having a, a guy with his head in the box and ten people around him smoking pot, <laughs> blowing, blowing it right on him, and then them doing a drug test, and, and there really it was just tr traces, secondhand smoke, just when it comes to marijuana, does not have an impact at all. Yeah, I guess I would just try to clarify, what is the concern? Is the concern the person could get high? Is the concern the person would fund their drug test? What, what was the specific concern? Well, I think there's a concern not only for getting high, but also for, for health issues. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, it gets, I'll try and answer this with a broader question. First, I, I, but I will concur with what uh, Gary said. If, if, the, if the question was, if I'm surrounded by secondhand smoke and, and I'm not using marijuana, could that put me at risk of flunking my drug test, the answer is no. It's not nearly it. It's because the drug test has cutoffs. You have to be above the cutoff to test positive, and you will never be above the cutoff in that scenario. You have not put, you have not exposed yourself, yourself to enough smoke to break down the product in the smoke into the product they're looking for at a level that would be above the threshold. It, so it, that's just not a scenario that will work. Um, same, and this is also that same sort of dose related response goes to this question of health. Uh, you know, secondhand smoke exposure is obviously minimal exposure. We're well aware that direct exposure to marijuana smoke does not appear to be particularly harm harmful. It's not innocuous. There's irritants in smoke. We know that there are certain potential, potential carcinogens in the smoke. But what we don't see in long-term placebo control, case control trials, is any evidence that the carcinogens present in the marijuana smoke actually turn into cancer. And we've got good data on that now from several <coughs> long-term population case control trials. One looking at lung cancer, one looking at cancer of the upper aerodigestive tract, and three looking at head and mouth cancer. And that's for people who were directly exposing themselves for a period of 20 years or more, which obviously would be far greater exposure than you know, chance happening with secondhand smoke. I, uh, I also thought it was interesting that, uh, what was it, eight years ago, the snowboarder from Canada that won a gold medal and then tested positive for marijuana, and he claimed it was secondhand smoke. Well, I, I do know that it, that's not possible. I just thought he should have gotten a double gold medal, though. <laughs> but if he had a gold medal under the influence of marijuana, that kind of really shoots the whole notion that, uh, that it's a dangerous drug. I mean, really. 